How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Moon Adventure. Last time I checked out Route 8, and someone who didn't check out is Gladian over here, who paid for his whole room for like two years. Doesn't really seem like the best business decision, but whatever. Anyway, I want to check out this lush jungle over here. All right, I'm on, oh, I'm on Route 5 again. I'm going backwards now. Okay, designated trial site for the island challenge. Oh boy. So if I go in there, I start the trial, right? Uh, do I want to go in there yet? Is there anything more to Route 5 here? Um, there is that item that I kind of want to get. I just, I don't really want to fight anyone. Um, okay, so Bricklet Hill's over there. <gasps> ah! Someone wants to fight me, though. Oh, it's you, Diglett. I don't really want to fight you, though. <laughs> no, I really don't. Oh, wow, you're level 21. No, I couldn't get away. Well, that's no good. Okay, fine. All right, so, so much for that. I guess this isn't really that big of a deal. Um, I could jump down there, but I think that's just going to lead me back to where I was. So I don't think there's really any point or purpose to this area. So let's go take on the trial. All right, here we go. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it wasn't the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm going to make you help me. Er, no. I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Tapu Coco, aren't you? You are so totally ready for this. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. She's like Silent Sister or something. Yep, it's got to be. My personal specialty, the Mallow Special. I'm going to need you to find four ingredients for me. I'll need a Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Here you go. I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients gathered for your trial. Cool, I got the forage bag. Uh, alright. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag, they get mixed up with your stuff, right? When you're hunting for ingredients, you're going to want to rely on Stoutland's help. It'll find things that you don't see after all. Uh, yeah, okay, let's see. Okay, one more time. There are four things you need to get... For me to clear the trial. Mago Berry, Tiny Mushroom, Revival Herb, and Miracle Seed. You got that? Alright, time for the trial to begin! I'm not much- I'm not such a big fan of jungles. Where are all the comfy machines at, huh? Alright, well, I need my dog. Oh, I see some mushrooms over here. Uh, let's see. I need big mushrooms, of course. No, I, I need tiny mushrooms. I think. Oh no! The big mushroom attacked! I hate it when big mushrooms attack! What is that? It's a Sheenotic! What the heck? That thing is funky looking! Oh my gosh! Okay, Mega Drain. Yeah, we don't need you to use that now, do we? Wow, that thing is so freaky. I've never seen that before. <laughs> it looks cool, though. I kind of want one. I don't really know what it's all about, though. It looks like it could do something cool, like maybe hypnotize you or something. Um, alright. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Oh, a tiny mushroom. That's great. There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one to find out what it is. Still three ingredients left to get. Get, we'll need a big helping. Okay, well, that's fine. I will help you get a big helping. So, I guess I don't really need a... Ooh, I see an item over there, a TM. Uh-oh, what the... Ah! I'm being attacked by something! Oh, it's a Fomantis. Well, you know what? I got one of those. I got one of those. I don't need another. Um, I really... Wh what? There's no running. Oh, man. Well, if that's how you want to play, then.
Uh, Fury Cutter. Yeah, that's not gonna do very much at all. Yeah, four damage. That was barely anything. All right, you are a formidable full mantis. Um, I should probably switch out. Although I really want you to evolve, and I just have this feeling you must be getting somewhat close. Well, oh well, that's just how it goes. Okay, let's move this mantis up top. I don't really know why. I guess I could always use Fury Cutter or something. Uh, all right, so what do we got here? A berry. Oh, great, there's that Mago berry I needed. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Congrats on finding that Mago Berry. The bigger and more twisted a Mago Berry, the sweeter it will taste. Great, two more ingredients to find. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna guess they're probably over in another branch of this jungle, so let's check out over here. So I need a Miracle Seed and a Revival Herb, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's just wander through this little passage here. Ooh, maybe it's over here? No, maybe not. Although, what is this? Oh, look at that. I can kind of climb inside. Hey! Grass knot. That's not too bad. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's see just uh, who can learn this thing. Uh, Fomantis and... Wow. Shock cake actually can. That's interesting. Um, I guess I might as well get rid of leafage. Because there's really no reason to have that. Great. Okay, grass knot. Nice. Um, probably not something I'm going to need right this moment, though. Whoops, I've gone too far this time. All right, let's go over here. And let's get back on Stoutland. Okay, can I find that item? Oh, what we got here? A patch of rather suspicious-looking grass. Will you pull it up? Oh, heck yeah. Revival herb. Wonderful, that's what I needed. Uh-oh, a Pokemon leaped out of the grass to attack. It's another Fomantis. Well, guess what? I too have a Fomantis. Tall grass. Oh my gosh, that thing's level 23 though. Uh, let's send out Oreo, because she's only level 23 and could use a little bit more experience. Oh, that's right. Fury Cutter will actually do normal damage now. Um, Acrobatics should be fine. Yeah, I kind of miss that typing, that electric, um, what is it, electric flying typing. That's just such a good type. Hey, it's me, Mallow. That's a fine revival herb. Its bitter bite isn't even a shock to Pokemon, but that's what'll add depth to the flavor. Just one last ingredient left. Get out, or get back out there and find it. All right, let's go find it. Um, maybe it's over here. I need a miracle seed. Uh, yeah, let's pull up this grass. Another revival herb. Oh, no, it's just a normal weed. Darn it, I don't need that. It's Fomantis again. Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to do this exactly like I did last time. Leafage. Hey, you should really replace that with Grass Knot. It would not be too bad. Uh, yeah, acrobatics. Let's just go for it. So strong. All right, so I'm guessing the last item I need is probably in a different branch altogether, because that's typically how dungeons like this go, you know? Uh, oh, Mossy Rock. Wow, I could get Leafy on fairly early. That's not too bad, actually. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like over here. Or not. Um, all right. I mean, there is an X defense over there, which is nice. Let's check out this side of the place. Uh, Mallow's special tip. When Pokemon berry seeds in the ground, they gain an, especi an especially rich and complex flavor. Okay. Um... Oh, really? Well, let's go ahead and smash this rock with Tauros. Maybe he's hiding under there? 
Or maybe not. Oh my gosh, that's a big rock. All right, we gotta use some teamwork here. Arr! Oh, I don't think we're done yet. Oh, darn it. I didn't want to go this way, did I? Wait, did I? I don't know. Is this back in the beginning? Um, a big root. It's so big. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Well, yeah, definitely need to backtrack there. All right, let's ride back over to this part of the area, and uh, let's see where that thing's hiding. Whoa, those rocks are magical. They, like, magically reappeared. How does it do that? I don't know. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Right over here? Oh, that's not what I was looking for. All right, well, let's, uh, oops. Let's get on Tauros here. Guess I just have to handle this a little more cautiously. Hey, I found the miracle seed. Nice, that's the last thing I needed. Did you see what I did there? Uh, miracle seeds are bursting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Oh, looks like you got everything. Okay, time for us to start cooking. So come on back to the entrance of the jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Uh, no, wait, no, that's that's not it. That This is a little less mighty of a jungle. It's very lush, though. Hey, Maryland, great. Now that we've got all the ingredients, we just need... Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Oh, hey, it's them. I brought a thick club and a rare bone. And I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. Thanks, Lena. Thanks, Kiawe. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Maryland. We're going to cook, cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Uh-oh! Let me see what you've got for me. One Mago Berry check, one Tiny Mushroom check, one Revival Herb check, one Miracle Seed check. Perfect, just what the recipe calls for. Now we can make the Mallow special. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw that totem Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? What did you say? Rotom, you were trying to talk while she was talking. That's very rude. All right, well, let's summon up the totem Pokemon. Okay, Lena, flip that Rocky Helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. There you are. Then in go the Mago Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, the Revival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Kiawe, let us use the Thick Club and that Rare Bone for a moment. Here you are. Okay, Maryland, grab the Thick Club and the Rare Bone and pound it all to a pulp. Oh, press A to pound the ingredients. Mmm. Yeah, there we go. Crush it! Uh. Grind it! <laughs> Alright, uh, to a pulp! Turn it to goo! <laughs> All right, that's not weird at all. Uh-oh, a unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Don't, don't even tell me. It's behind me, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're not quite as big as I thought, but it's still a bug, a big, big bug. Lurantis, the totem Pokemon of lush jungle has appeared. Oh man. Lurantis! Oh, that's so cool looking. I want one! Uh, oh, it's speed rose sharply. Hmm, that could be a problem. Okay, level 24. That is pretty high level. So, I don't know what kind of tricks and shenanigans this thing has, but I guess Miss Mantis is just gonna. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Uh, that wasn't even a thing. Um, okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We are going to sacrifice Shot Cake. I know, it seems kind of mean, but I really need to paralyze this thing if it's that fast. All right, she's calling some friends. Oh, it's Trumbeak. I was expecting a Fomantis, but I guess Trumbeak would rather play along. Okay, Thunder Wave, Lurantis. This thing needs to slow down. Solar Blade? What the heck is Solar Blade? Is that like a... Uh-oh! Oh no!
Oh my gosh. Well, at least you technically did your job, Shot Cake. I'll give you that. Um, not quite how I wanted it. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Um, crazy. So, yeah, I think I need to get rid of Trumbeak right about now. Let's go ahead and switch out for Toothpick. I know this is very bad, but I want to get Trumbeak out. And let's do that. Hopefully, I don't know how fast that Lurantis is going to be. Yeah, it's pretty fast. But it doesn't have the power herb now. Hmm. This is bad news for you. Uh-oh. It wasn't even enough to knock it out. Uh, this is bad. Something's gonna get blasted by that solar blade. Um... I think I'm going to need to just kind of take the hit. Get that free switch out, I guess? Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Sorry! Oh, man! Okay, I really need Oreo to use Air Cutter right about now to hit them both. That should take out Chumbeak and should do some damage to Lurantis. I just hope you'll outspeed it. That Lurantis is fast. Okay, great. I took out Chumbeak. That's nice. Now, if you just want to use that solar blade, that'd be fine by me. Okay, X scissor, not good. Ugh. Um, you know what you need? You need a little bit of feather dance to just chill down a little bit. You're getting way out of control. Yeah, there we go. Get paralyzed. Okay, I need to play it a little bit safer here. Let's use a super potion on Oreo. Uh, oh no, it has synthesis. That's just great. That is just great. Oh man, it can heal itself. Yikes. Um, let's acrobatics. I have a feeling this will actually hurt pretty hard. Because this thing doesn't have boosted defense or anything, so... Oh yeah, that's a nice two-hit KO right there. Battle of the pink Pokemon! Oh, you're gonna call an ally, huh? Well, that's fine. It's not going to save you. Cast form? Oh, I see what you're gonna do. You're gonna try to set up Sunny Day so you can use that... that blade like crazy. Uh, no, no solar blade for you. You gotta get out of here. That is a really cool strategy. You know, I have to say, so far, I've been pretty impressed with the totem Pokemon. I thought, oh man, how's this gonna be a fun boss fight? But it turns into an interesting double battle with some cool strategies to it. So, I actually do like that. I think that's really kind of clever. Um, they've done a good job with it, at least in my opinion. Now, I'm not overleveled for a lot of these fights, so that kind of makes it interesting. Uh, oh, whoa, that hurt. <laughs> Come on, Oreo, you got this. Oh, yeah. Way to go, my dancing bird. You deserve a little bit of care, you know. That was great. Okay, let's go ahead and I think I need a, what? No, no, I need the comb, don't I? Uh, yeah, there we go. Here, we'll get all this dandruff off of you, whatever. There we go. Happy bird. Oh, you like it right there, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Aw, okay, here, have a bean. Oh, I'm gonna give you one of these cool beans. <laughs> cool beans. There. I wonder if Cutie Fly might need like affection or something. 
I should probably try that. Wow, Maryland, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw out the flavor of your Pokemon in that battle. The totem Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Whale of Volcano Park, my vaunted Salazzle didn't stand a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy that I had chained so carefully. All right, you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. Oh yeah! It's time to go green! Trial complete! Cool, I got the Z crystal from Mallow. Let me show you how to use grass type Z moves. You go like grass, okay? Uh, okay. Grass! Grass! <laughs> Since you cleared my trial, Maryland, I want you to help train or er, help me train some Pokemon from here in Lush Jungle. Here, have some nest balls. Oh, cool, thanks. I'm getting so many things to catch Pokemon with. Hmm, looks like Lorantis didn't finish all the food. Ooh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite, Kiawe. You too, Lena. If you insist. Lick. <laughs> I don't know about that. The flavor from the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. It tastes so good you might melt. No, wait. Is that my tongue that's melting? Ugh. It, it's so... Spicy! What? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste? Are you headed off to Olivia's for the grand trial? Uh... Oh, hey, what's up? Woo! What's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah? All right then, I have a present for you. That little TM there, right? Th or that little TM right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. Like Swift, huh? Except it's so smart. Ooh, TM sixty-seven. That's interesting. There will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, and I want you to go check it out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. Uh, okay, we're not there yet. I thought you said we were going to use extreme speed. Hey there, Marilyn. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala Region or Akala Island's trials. Congrats! Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's grand trial. Olivia is an expert of rock type Pokemon. You're gonna want to catch some grass type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the grand trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6. Yeah, but just ask Rotom if you need some help. I feel like I've been there, you know? Um, didn't the professor tell you to head for that Dimensional Research Lab? Yes. Um, alright, which is where exactly? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's all the way down there. I checked it out, you know? Um, well, that was pretty cool, but I do want to fight some of the Pokemon in Lush Jungle now that I can catch them. I also wouldn't mind taking a look at that new TM I got, Smart Strike. No one can learn it, of course. Oh, it's a Steel-type move with 70 power. I like that. Steel-type attacks are so far and few between. Um, so it's just really nice to actually have one for a change. All right, let's ride on my dog. I'll check that other place out in a little bit, but I need to heal up first. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, this guy. Uh, he did change his selection after I got the last Z crystal, but it looks like now he has Ultra Balls and they're only 800 Poké Dollars? What? That's awesome. Um, that is really awesome, actually. That's a great price. I have plenty, but that is so much cheaper than the 1200 they used to be. Hyper Potions are a lot more, and they only heal 120. Which, I mean, to be fair, I guess that makes sense. 200 was pretty extreme in most instances. Like, I almost never bothered with Max Potions, because Hyper Potions pretty much healed you to full all the time anyway. And they were, like, way cheaper. So, even though, yeah, it's a pain, I feel like it's a lot more balanced. I feel like that's definitely a better approach than it used to be. Okay, I want to check out Lush Jungle. We'll check out that Dimensional Research Lab later. 
because, you know, there's not too much time left here, but now that I can catch some Pokemon, I want to see what is up over here. Like, getting that mushroom. I want to find that thing, that big mushroom. That thing was so cool. A Paris. You know, I actually ran into a Paris earlier. I don't remember if I showed it or not. It was back in the one place. You know, with the thing. Um, yeah, but I found Paris, so that's nice. Let's see if I can catch this Paris. I have quick balls. I need to use them, darn it. Gotta remember to actually do this. Uh, let's go ahead and Razor Leaf you. It's not gonna do very much at all, but I don't wanna do very much. Okay, now let's catch this thing and a Pokeball. I honestly feel like Great Balls then should be 500. I think that'd be a good kind of medium for them. I think 600 is just a little bit too much now, though. I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's what it was, but... I don't know. All right, so I got Paris, that's great. Uh, let's see. Mushroom Pokemon. Mushrooms called Tochukaso sprout from its back. They can be dried and powdered to make a medicine used to extend life. Okay, well, we're gonna call you to 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 Tocho, Tochukaso? Tochukaso, I think it was. That sounds cool. Uh, let's see, Tochukaso. Cool, yeah, that made my search for a name easy. Uh, let's just take a look at you. I don't think I really want to use you. I'd much rather have that Lurantis, but at least you have that tiny mushroom. It's nice. Bye. Oh, whoops. Yeah, hold on to your tiny mushroom. Whatever, it's fine. There's something nearby. Hey, look at this. I found a hyper potion. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Wasn't I just talking about hyper potions? I was. Whoa! Harambe lives! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That joke is gonna be used so much. But it is an interesting new Pokemon. This big, like, gorilla thing. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I couldn't remember which one I got in uh, Pokemon Moon, but I guess it's this one. For some reason, I thought it was the lemur thing, which also looked kind of neat. Okay, let me remind myself what to do. It's called Use a Quick Ball. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Psycho. Uh, why does it have the sound for Psybeam? Or no, for Psychic, I guess that is. Or was it Psybeam as well? I don't remember. Um, I don't know what type this thing is. Actually, I seriously don't. Quash. There, there, child. Um, okay, you postponed my move a little bit. That's fine. Oh, that was a critical hit, even. Well, okay. Let's do that again. So you don't really have much in the way of moves, do you? Okay, I guess that will have to do. Um... Let's stuff you in a... Actually, I think an Ultra Ball is probably a good idea. This thing looks pretty monstrous. Oh my gosh. It doesn't want to uh, get caught at all. Oh no, and it's calling for help. Uh, great. Trumbeak. Oh man. Why do you have to interrupt this? See, this is really annoying. I mean, I don't really have a good option. If I switch out, I'm gonna get hit with two attacks. So, yeah. Um, that just stinks. It's just stupid, I hate that. Uh, all right, well, I'm just gonna switch to Shot Cake so she can probably get knocked out, as it takes two hits to knock out a Trumbeak. Beak. 
Well, there goes my chance of paralyzing you. Uh, let's charge Beam Trumbeak. I'm really sorry, but who thought it was a good idea to have this wild Pokemon joining the battle mechanic? I just honestly don't really think it's a good idea. It seems like it just makes things so much more frustrating, and I know that I complain about it a lot, but, you know, when you don't like something about a game, you know, complaining about it, it shows, hey, you don't like something, and there's typically a reason why. From a mechanical standpoint, it just seems like it slows things down. Leaf Blade! Why, yes! Yes, I'm very interested in this. Let's get rid of Razor Leaf for sure. Wow, I like you a lot more, Miss Mantis. But I just don't think it's very well thought out because, you know, it just puts you in a very awkward position a lot of the time. Oh, I think my taunt wore off, didn't I? I should probably paralyze this thing to make it a little easier to catch. Maybe it'll stay in there. No, nope, why would it do that? Oh, man. All right, well, so much for that. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna just... Have a Dora Bug here. Maybe this thing isn't grass type despite holding those leaves. No! Ah! See, this is what I mean. It's like, I feel like I can't really just stay here. I'm gonna use a timer ball. Because I think enough time will have passed. Okay, I got it. Oranguru. I didn't even say its name, Oranguru. That's interesting. Ah. Uh, well, at least it wasn't terrible. Okay, let's see. This thing doesn't evolve, right? I think it's just like kind of paired up with that other thing. It's the Sage Pokemon. Deep in the jungle, high in the lofty canopy, this Pokemon abides. On rare occasions, it shows up at the beach to match wits with Slowking. That's kind of interesting. Normal Psychic. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's give this thing a nickname that won't be the same nickname everyone else is going to say. I'm going to call this thing... Um... How about Guruilla? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, we're gonna... Actually, I want to take a look at your summary. Maybe you're not that bad. Whoa, you got some alright stats there. But some pretty bad moves. An inner focus. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave you be for now. Sorry! Um, but yeah, anyway, that's kind of cool. I was not expecting to find one of those here. So, I found this path up here that I did not notice before, and there's an item! Ooh, a max revive. That's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Um, just thought I would point it out. This looks suspicious. Nope! Oh! It looks like there's a photo spot over here. Let's go ahead and, uh, fire up the Poke Finder. I wanna see what kind of things- Oh, it's a Bone Sweet! Nice! Uh, let's zoom in. All right. Oh, darn it. I was <laughs> not clicking right. Okay, whoa. Oh man, this thing. This thing bounces around. Maybe it's bounce sweet and thinking about it. I guess I just thought it was more of like a... What is that? I thought it was more like a French name or something, but I didn't even think about it bouncing. What is that sound, though? Wow, you're really boring. Oh, that was okay. Come on. Bounce over here, bounce sweet. All right. Oh. Okay, this is not working for some reason. <laughs> okay, that last one, I think, is probably the best, then. 
Okay, let's show off this one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, those are pretty good comments. Oh, nice. Lots of thumbs up. Although I still have a long way to go before 100,000. Uh, no, I don't want to say that. Okay, well, that was interesting, I guess. What the? Oh! Something's attacking! What is it? It's, uh... Oh, Fomantis again. So, if I use... Or if it uses Ingrain, and it kind of plants itself there, why is it that I can't run away? Things to ponder, I tell you. Things to ponder. What the heck? That was so weird. Oh, it's Bone Bounce Sweet. Yeah, that makes more sense now. Bounce Sweet. Okay, uh, I already have that traded one that I've never used. No, oh, I don't think I need another one. Sorry. Whoa! It's comfy! Or comfy or something. Comfey? I honestly don't know, but it looks great. Comfey, I bet. Huh. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to catch this thing in, uh, Quick Ball. Oh, yeah. That's so good. Okay, so cool, I caught this thing. I really don't know much about it. I think I remember seeing it released at one point, but kind of completely forgot about it. So what, you're just like a flower lay? Uh, yeah, it looks like you're the only one in the evolution line. Which I guess is fine. Wow, it's so small. Cozy picker Pokemon, it's a fairy. Baths prepared with the flowers from its vine have a relaxing effect, so this Pokemon is a hit with many people. Eh. Uh, alright. Well, we're gonna call you... Um, let's call you Fairy Lay. There we go. Uh, let me take a look at you. I don't really know what you're all about. I know you're a fairy type. Wow, reasonable defenses, that's for sure. And decent speed. You actually don't look that bad, and you have an ability to give priority to a healing move. Hmm, that could be interesting. But I don't really think you're what I need on my team. Sorry, but it's still good to see ya. Oh, there's also an next special attack here. Well, isn't that nice? Alright, well, I did a little bit of battling, and I could not really find anything else other than what I showed you, but I did train up a little bit, and I guess that's a good thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Moon Adventure! See you next time, everyone! Alola!